Hi students, today we are going to discuss on problem on a positive definite matrix from the subject engineering statistics and linear algebra. So here first we will see what is positive definite matrix. It is a square matrix A is positive def definite matrix if A is symmetric matrix which is having 3 cross 3, 2 cross 2, 4 cross 4, number of rows and number of columns are equal then we will call symmetric matrix and the three conditions, three important conditions. All its eigen values are positive. All its pivots are positive. And if it is three cross three symmetric matrix, then all upper left determinants of order one, order two and order three are positive. If these three conditions are satisfied, then we are going to call it as positive definite matrix. So I have taken one example. It is given A is equal to this is a matrix show that matrix A is positive definite matrix. So here we have three conditions. We have to prove any one condition. I'll repeat, we have to prove any one condition. Either eigen values, all eigen values are positive or all pivots are positive or the upper left determinants of order 1, 2, 3 are positive. So here I have shown all the three but in the exam you have to show any one. Method 1 find the eigen values if all eigen values are positive then matrix is positive definite we know to find the eigen values we have the characteristic equation a minus lambda i that is determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to zero so here what is a minus lambda i in the previous problems we have sorted out this i is identity matrix if it is three cross three we have to write three cross three so I will be getting this if I do a minus lambda i. The diagonal elements are going to be subtracted from minus. So it is just like a 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0. This is the identity matrix for 3 cross 3. So if I subtract I will get this. So it is just a simple a determinant uh, calculation here. So 3 minus lambda, 5 minus lambda into 3 minus lambda minus minus into minus it becomes minus 1 plus here second term is minus so minus with minus you will get plus so minus 1 into 3 minus lambda then minus of minus 1 so similarly you have to do the calculation so at the end you will end up with this is the result lambda cube minus lambda so minus 11 lambda square plus 36 lambda minus 36 is equal to 0 so if you calculate it and if you start calculating this you are going to get the result so for mode so i will clear the first so go for mode go for five equation then select cubic equation it is cubic so select fourth one then coefficient of a substitute one press equals coefficient of b is minus 11 then coefficient of c is 36 then again it is minus 36 so once you press ABCD press equals you will get x1 is 6 that is what first eigen value press again equals second eigen value 3 and the third eigen value 2 so these three eigen values which you got 6 3 2 all eigen values are positive hence the matrix is positive definite so here the first condition is satisfied so in the exam if you done only this method number one you will get the full marks suppose if i am not interested in the method one so you can go for method two check all the pivoted entries or the columns are positive take the given matrix so here pivoted means so here it must have the leading entries leading entries so it is leading non-zero entry is called as pivoted entry so we'll see that what is that so for that this element must be a positive so here it is positive no issues look at this it is negative so we have to make it zero and this is also we have to make it zero so the thing is we will use the rref form here row reduced echelon form so that these entries must be zero at that time we are going to get easily this pivoted entry so for that this value I have to make it 0 for that it is R2 so I have to make it 3 times R2 
plus r1 so it becomes minus 3 plus 3 so it is going to be 0 so that is what here entry the later you can do it for 5 and minus 1 15 and minus 1 14 so it is minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 so now this entry also need to be 0 that's why we are considering 3 minus 3 into r3 means it becomes minus 3 plus r1 plus r1 means plus 3 so this becomes 0 so remaining calculations proceeds so from this entry so i will call this first one the column one as the pivoted column because if i consider this row and this column this is the only entry which is non-zero entry is there so first column no issue similarly you can go for the second column so i can in in the second column and the second row if i go here this is a leading non-zero entry because it is zero so i can't consider this it is a leading non-zero entry so second also okay at this stage but third i can't guess here so this i can't consider because i already considered this so further calculation is needed go for r2 by 2 and r3 by 2 so you will get further simplification then here my point is we have to make this value again zero so in order to make this as zero so we are taking this as r2 minus r3 so once i got this you can observe now all these values i got at zero because row reduced echelon form is going to be easy if my this format is going to be zero so now you can observe this column this is the leading entry non-zero entry first pivoted entry then if i consider the second row and second column this is going to be the leading non-zero entry one the last one it is the leading non-zero entry for this row it is leading for second row this is leading for third row it is leading so all are what positive values hence it is positive definite symmetric matrix so the method number three the last one i think this one is going to be easier for you while solving in the exam what is method 3 is saying is upper left determinants of order 1 and order 2 and order 3 are positive. What is order 1, order 2 and order 3 is order 1 is nothing but it is 1 cross 1 matrix, order 2 is 2 cross 2 matrix and order 3 is 3 cross 3 matrix. If I consider the given 3 cross 3 matrix, 1 cross 1 matrix is, means first row, first column entry. Order 2 means 2 cross 2. In the first row, two elements, and in the second row, two elements. Order 3 means 3 cross 3, the whole matrix. So we will see one by one, order 1. Order 1 means 1 cross 1, so it is A11. So the given matrix, what is the value of A11? It is 3. So that 3 is written here, which is obviously greater than 0. What is order 2? 2 cross 2. 2 cross 2 means the four entries. The four entries means what are the values? Which is 3 minus 1 minus 1 5 this is what 3 minus 1 minus 1 5 so take the determinant of this you will get 14 which is obviously greater than 0 order 3 means the whole matrix you take and find out the determinant you will get 36 which is greater than 0 so like this upper left determinants of order 1 order 2 and order 3 by considering the determinant values all the values 3 is greater than 0 for order 1 14 is greater than 0 for order 2, 36 is greater than 0 for order 3. Hence, the matrix is positive definite matrix. So, we will solve one more problem here, which is slightly different. A will be given matrix, which is 2 cross 2 again. And one X matrix, which is column matrix, they will give. Show that the matrix is positive symmetric matrix. So, we have the one formula for this x transpose a into x which, which must be greater than or equal to 0 then we will call the matrix as positive symmetric matrix first take the transpose of x column become row so then take xt into a into x so it is 3 minus 4 2 1 1 2 3 minus 4 so take the simple matrix multiplication 3 into 2 is 6 minus 4 into 1 is minus 4 3 into 1 is 3, minus 4 into 2 is 8. So, 6 minus 4 is 2. 3 minus 8 is minus 5. 3 minus 4. Simple again matrix multiplication. 2 into 3 is 6, minus 4, minus 5. It is going to be plus 20. So, if I take this, 26. 
So 26 is greater than equal greater than is 0. Hence the matrix A is also called as positive definite symmetric matrix. This is the another method of solving the problem. So if they are given x then at the time use this formula. If they are not given x just they have given A at that time what best you can do is you can go for these three methods. You have to find the eigen values by using this determinant formula equal to 0 or you can find the pivoted entries the leading non-zero entry must be positive hence you can go for the third method upper left determinants of order 1 2 3 it must be greater than 0 any one method is holds good then we are going to call it as positive definite matrix i will conclude at this part hope you will see in the next videos of this model number 5 determinants and cofactors if possible. Thank you.